Hello, and welcome to the Japanese Bar. Strawberry, let's see. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Jeff Fishing Vlog. Today, I'm at Yellow Creek Park. Deb will be joining me here in a minute. And this place seems to be a great place for fishing dates. I know when we was pulling up here, Debbie was really impressed. You know, they had the, uh, they had the nice playground. They have a couple of shelters. The, the whole lake seems to be uh, fair, easily accessible. Got different spots with shades. They've got this nice little pier. And this pier is just, the parking lot is right here and you have to walk no distance. So, so last year, at the end of the year, I was talking some about handicap accessible fishing spots. And I couldn't imagine a more accessible spot than this. You're, you're 10 feet from, from where you park to where you can fish. And, and if a person was having mobility issues, I would just have to think that this would be the spot to go. So we're going to go after some catfish today. I have some stink bait. I have, oh yeah, right here. This And it's been a while since I've used stink bait because we've really just been using like shrimp and, and bluegill heads. But since we're at this little park, I figured I'd give it a try. This is some sunnies. We always like sunnies up north. Uh, yeah, Lake Station, Indiana. Matter of fact, that's exactly where I come from. And then Debbie picked, some, picked up some of this yesterday. And uh, strawberry, let's see. Oh. It really smells like stinky strawberries. So I hope we have some good luck. And uh, as always, I want you guys to remember, the best time to go fishing is right now. Well, we've been out here fishing for about an hour with no bites whatsoever. That stinky little strawberry bait. There's always that age-old question, should I stay or should I go? With these clouds darkening up, I'd hate to go before it start pouring down rain and just have to come straight back. And it does look like some people are catching fish. Now, they may not be using quite the same bait I'm using, or they may have a little better spot than this. We're getting stink bait everywhere. I bet Debbie's got a napkin. What do you think? Riley would tell you Debbie's always. Riley would tell you Debbie's always prepared. Now if I can cast this without getting stink bait in her hair. Fishing must be going pretty slow if you're taking naps. fishing city lakes like this is oftentimes they're just round and they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of cover they don't have like a lot of standout features for and and for this reason for many others but whenever you're fishing these city lakes whenever you find your whenever you get to your first spot that you're going to fish you know, make sure you're fan casting you know you, you cast it out and you let it sit for a few minutes you know, and work work your bait in, but then when you cast over here, cast over there, cast over there, cast over there, don't just continually cast into the same spot that you're not getting bites and you're not getting bites and you're not getting bites. You want to make sure that that whenever you're 
picking your spot that you are fishing the entire spot. That's right, talk to me. A after you're done fan casting, you, know, you started off with your bobber, or you started off on bottom, whatever the case may be. You take and you fan cast that area, and <clears throat> before you move, I would uh, make sure I I fish the entire water column. Now, one of the things about catfishing is, is people tend to say, okay, I'm going to fish this spot, I'm going to cast out, and because uh, a catfish is, their skin is uh, just a big taste bud, their entire body is a taste bud, They're, they assume that the catfish will come to them. But they do have a strike zone, and much like are you going to go to McDonald's across the street or are you going to go to McDonald's across town when it's the same quality? You know, you're, you're going to go to the one that's the easiest to get to. So even though the fish may be in this area or fairly close, you want to put it as close to their face as you can get it and, by, you know, and put it right in that strike zone. 